from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park, MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around it. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. So almost ready to get underway. And on the hill in this one, Aaron Nolan. How about a report on him, Chris? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Okay, all set to go. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Elvis Andrews. Leading off of the athletic, the fifth run, Elvis Andrews. And the pitch. That's in there, and we are underway. First pitch, 405. Right hander kicks deals. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. That hits the dirt, and that's ball two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past it. Next up for the A's, Tony Kemp. The second baseman. The pitch. Tony Kemp. Good eye right there. No score just getting started. Top of the first. And that one is lifted in the air. Castellanos on the move. Snags it for the second out. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Matt Olson stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next one in the dirt. This ball's chopped to the ground. Fires over to Hoskins, and that is that. Nothing doing there for the A's. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. This is Bryson Stock. And there's one thing on his mind, this is bad. Get that first hit at the big league level. The designated hitter, right there. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And here it comes. On the ground to the left. Andrews throws the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. As we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies. 
We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. Gene Segura looks at one outside there. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone. And now three and one. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Bounce to third. Chapman over to first in time. And here this afternoon, too quickly away in the bottom of the first. Oh well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Bryce Harper. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. Line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, you got to be careful with this guy. Two outs, nobody on. He's looking to drive the ball really far. So if you can't get him to chase your pitch, you might just pitch around him a little bit and deal with the guy on deck if you walk him. Next pitch is popped up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. We played one here in Philadelphia, and there is no score in Citizens Bank Park. Top of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Seth Brown. Leading off for the Athletics, the right fielder, Seth Brown. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about it. That's a good thing. Swing and a miss. One and two. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Matt Chapman in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Now 
Next offering way off the plate. Second inning here, no score. Next offering clips the zone, count even at two. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there are two outs. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher, do something to get him out of his rhythm. And here is Sean Murphy. First pitch doesn't find the zone. one's in there and that is strike one no score here in the second next pitch just misses two and two Two down, nobody on. In the air, right field, Harper under this one. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. A's go quickly and quietly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. He's kind of an the outlier, especially Brand when guys are consciously Jordan. sacrificing contact to deliver power. That catches the zone for a strike. That's strike one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next pitch is outside. And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. That Whoa, one off the turn. mark, and the count is even, two and two. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Payoff pitch. Right side. Calls it in for the out. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Three. Hoskins. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And the right hater back to work. And delivers yep, outside. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. The other way, and that's just foul. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. And that one hit to first. Oh, he gloves it. It's there, and that's a great play. Batting pitch. The left field. Nick. Tough day, Gallo. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. He was hitless in four at-bats yesterday. 
in there, and it's 0-1. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Chad Pinder. The left fielder, number four, Chad Pinder. The wind of the pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. Way back there, on its way, gone. A shot to the opposite field. His second of the year, it's 1 0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And the batter now, Jeremy Ironman. The pitch. Batting eight, the designated hitter, Jeremy. This one popped Ironman. up. Hoskins makes the grab. And there's one away. Batting nine. The center fielder, Sky. Sky Bolt digs in now. Nola back to work. And a swing and a miss there. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And the pitch. Ball. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Count. He deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. So the lineup flips over. The batter will be the shortstop. Elvis Andrews. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a pitch. That's off the mark. One and oh. To the right side, Segura handles. Tosses the first, third out. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. As the A's are on top. Back here in Philadelphia, set for the bottom of the third. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Baton. Pitch. 
Ball one, no strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Here comes a pitch. In the air, left field, and a base hit right there. So a man on base to start the inning. Batting in, the catcher. Garrett. Next to hit, Garrett Stubbs. There's a strike. Maton on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Lifted in the air right center field. Bolt racing over to make the catch. Batting none. The third baseman. Chris. And now the veteran third baseman, Bryan. Chris Bryant. And here it comes. There's a strike. Now, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next one off the plate inside. And it's 1-2. and two. One, two now. Stays the line. The next pitch misses, and the count is two and two. They try to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Next offering is foul back. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Out there to center. Bolt moving under this one. Out number two. Now back, the designated hitter. Right Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. The right-hander back to work. And that's through there for a strike. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the board, Tony Kemp. The second baseman, Tony Kemp. A wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. And now Matt Olson up to hit. The first baseman, Matt Olson. The 
pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now here is Seth Brown. He's over one. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is gone. Seth Brown goes deep, his second of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4-0. No, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get now over the fence. The third and baseman. here is Matt, Matt Chapman. Chapman. In there for strike one. And he'll one. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. That one not close. It's two and two. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Right hander kicks deals. And it's fouled away. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The punch out there. One away. And now here's the now A's batter. catcher, Sean catcher. Murphy. Sean Murphy. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And that's in for a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. Well, the one one is upstairs, and a count two and one. Next pitch has popped up. Maton in position. And there's two down. The left fielder, number four, Chad Pinder. And now Chad Pinder. The wind of the pitch. And that one what? moves his feet.
swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. Ball and a strike. There's a swing and a drive. That one carry. Out of here. He muscles that one out the opposite way. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's five zip. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Just a nice job, recognizes off speed as that leg hangs in the air a little bit, but he gets it down, hits against a strong and firm front side. That's uh, knocking a cheesesteak out of somebody's lap. <laughs> now that I would be upset if somebody knocked a cheesesteak out of my lap, I'll tell you that. I don't think that's possible. You're too quick. Ironman batting now for the second time as he takes inside. And he deals. Just missed. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Two outs. That catches the top part of the zone, and it's two and one. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Bailey Falter up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Wings through that. I got to count two and two. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5 nothing. <laughs> Back here in Philadelphia, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Way to go. And the batter Will now, Bryson Stock, the designated hitter. Right there. The pitch. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Bryson Stock with his first now major back. league Second hit. Base and this is a moment Three. I'm sure he'll never forget. Good Congrats. Girl. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. And at first, Gene Segura, the next to hit. The pitch. There's the strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch off the play. And that's ball one. It is yeah, two and on. one. Right. Next three. pitch misses. Three and one now. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And he oh. walked him. Bryce Harper to the plate. Harper. And a pitch. 
That misses. Ball one. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. Kicks and fires. First and second here, no outs. Righty delivers. And now two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. One and second. On to Olsen. That's two. I mean, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. And the pitch. Good eye right there. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. On a line, base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 5-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the, the other way, you feel really good about what you did Three. at the plate. You trusted your hands, you He's let dead. the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now it's going to be Reese Hoskins. And that's in there for strike one. One. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. That's in for a strike. He's in there. Next offering is down low. So now one and two to Reese. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And it's second. That just misses. And it's two and two. Man on second, two down. Foul ball there. Jordan at second with two down. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Two two now, and now it's filled up. So now three and two, fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Grinding a B right here, about to see pitch number ten, and that's ball four. And now Nick Castellanos. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares 
managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Fought off foul. And down on strikes he goes. Good job of damage control right there. We played four. It's the A's five and the Phillies one. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in for Oakland. For Sky Bolt. The center fielder. Sky Bolt. The pitch. There's the strike. The next offering misses. Ball one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Left hand batter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. No throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Now batting, shortstop, Elvis Andrew. Bailey Falter on the pitch here. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Elvis Andrews. The pitch. Strike one. Falter checks the runner oh, he's and he's back in there. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And a pitch. Nope. Ball one. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball. But for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. And here it comes. That Mr. one misses. Two and two. Hey. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So the digging in, Tony Kemp. Second baseman, Tony Kemp. The pitch. Squirts away a little bit. Save! And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. One out and a runner at second. offering is in for a strike Ball, next one there. misses two and one in the dirt but kept close in there safely and on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. One away with a runner at third. Oh. 
Up towards left center, Castellanos sizing this one up. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and the lead is up to five. The first baseman, Matt Olson. Two outs, base is empty. Matt Olson up to the plate. Here comes the pitch. Inside just missed. And he pumps it a strike. Strike two. I got to count one and two. Swing and he breaks his bat. And that's a foul ball. That one misses in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering misses, and the count's full. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone! Matt Olson goes deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they add to the lead. It's 7-1. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Base is empty with two away. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And now the lefty. Nope. Check swing, no appeal. One ball, one strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires over to Hoskins. And that is the third out of the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the A7 and the Phillies won. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Maytom. For the Phillies. Not well, every stop. pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Activity in the bullpen. Paul Blackburn up and loosening in the pen. Honeywell getting loose as well. Next pitch misses. One and one. Line drive. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting. Catcher. Garrett. Stubbs. So up next, Garrett Stubbs. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. That one in there across the letters. Uh, 
swing and a pop-up. Chap makes the play. Two down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good yeah, coming in, but so hard to get on top man. of as a hitter. Ryan. Chris Bryant stands in for the Phillies. The wind of the pitch. And a strike on the outside edge. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. strikes and it's a one two three inning we're through five it's the a7 and the Phillies won back here at the ballpark here's the third baseman Matt Chapman off of the with this kind of lead he can swing baseman. freely try to hit Matt. the ball out of the park do what he loves to do the wind in the pitch going one Kicks and deals. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with Catch the middle of the infield Sean. and took it back where it Maybe. came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. So, a man aboard. So, here's Murphy now. And the pitch. That's down and in. The pitch. There's a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Lefty ready, and a 1-1. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. Lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Grabs it right up against the wall. The left fielder of the third, Chad Hunter. That's a really nice job right there. Great awareness making the catch up against the wall. You see the perfect technique, feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseball as it's coming down, his glove in a good position to make the catch. That's exactly how you do it. And now, Chad Pender. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Falter, back to work. That one ripped. Can't get there. Base hit. Not in time. He's safe. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base now hit. That, Solid swing from start to end. On Jeremy. time with everything. Really Iron good man. balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Runners on the corners with one gone. Jeremy Ironman up next for the A's. First offering and it just misses. Breaking ball inside. 
Two balls, no strikes. And he deals. That's ball three. Three balls, no strikes. And they're all loaded up. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. Now and that last one the center didn't even threaten the zone. Sky. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Sky Bolt. And a pitch. That clips the corner. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. The pitch. Ball. That one misses. Now one and two. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Stays alive. Base is loaded, one away. Got him swinging, he chased the changeup, and there's two down. He came out of his mechanics there, typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Thank you. Here's Elvis Andrews. The pitch. That one catches the corner for a strike. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Off contact in the air. Base hit. One run is in. The tag and that's out number three. Inning over. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. It's the A's eight and the Phillies one. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Where we go bottom six. This is Bryson Stock for the Phillies. And a pitch. The designated hitter. Ball one there. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time, and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Gene Segura at the plate here. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Next offering is in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Oh, Light drive. Bolt brings it in. Two down. Up next for Philadelphia. The right fielder. Here's Bryce Harper. Harper. pitch and that one off the outside edge well as good as things can be it can be a tough day at the office even for the skippers seeing the offense just sputter not able to get anything going next pitch is inside and the count is 2-0 
Two down, nobody on. That ball one first. misses, and that's ball three. No break. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Bolt drifts towards it, and that's the third out. Down quickly go the Phillies. It's still an eight, one ball game. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Yoan Lopez. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's Tony Kemp. The second baseman, Tony Kemp. And here it comes. That misses, and it's 1 0. Action in the pen down there. Sam Kunra up and throwing for Joe Girardi. And a 1 0. This one lifted in the air, left field. Castellanos right there to make the grab. And there's one away. Now batting, the first baseman, Matt Olson. Here's Matt Olson. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The next pitch misses at one and one. one, and one. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off. Here's a one two. Got him. Down two away. So here's Brown at the plate. Set. The right hander back to work. That pitch in for a strike. Strike one. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. Whoa, Next right pitch there. is downstairs. And the righty deals. And that one just missed off the outside edge. In the air, right field. And makes the grab. And that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the A's. And it remains an eight to one game. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Paul Blackburn. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Paul Blackburn.
bottom of the seventh. Stepping in, Brandon Jordan. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. A.J. Puck getting loose out there. Acevedo, the right-hander, loosening up as well. And a pitch. That's a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. He swings and fouls one off. And now it's one and two. Stays alive. One and two now. On the ground, right side. Oh, the throw is wild. Up next to the uh, that's a that's dangerous a throw for the first baseman. Three. Try to handle right there. Oh, Exposed yeah. him to a potential collision. And we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And a pitch. And there's the strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Here comes a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Jordan aboard here at first with nobody out. And he flips a breaking ball, ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. The pitch. Ball and two. another ball. They're going to count two and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Go and at first, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The right-hander back to work. And that's in there at the knees. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. The swing and a soft liner. Andrews makes the catch. And there are two down. Up next for Philadelphia. A shortstop. Nick. Here's the shortstop Maton. at the play. Nick Maton. The pitch. On the ground, out to short. And a base hit right there. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. It kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Stubbs stands in now, looks at that one inside. Two on, two outs. On the corner at the knees for a strike. One ball, one strike. And that's outside. Two, 
First and second, two down. Swing and a base hit around third. He'll score, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Nice job of driving that pitch the now other way it. on a line. You know, hitters, they take Great. so many reps in the cages working on Bro, going yeah. to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Chris Bryant now. And a pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Kicks and deals. That one lifted to left. Pinder drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And that's the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the A's eight and the Phillies two. Back here in Philadelphia, we go to the eighth. Here's Matt Chapman. for Oakland. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. And he deals. That's in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hot shot to third. And he can't come up with it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Now batting, the catcher, Sean Murphy. Here's Sean Murphy. And a pitch. And there's a strike. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. He was late there. Strike one. One and two. Swing and a miss. And he got him. That's his second strikeout. Two outs, base empty. Chad Pinder now. And here it comes. There's a strike. The pitch. That's the third. The throw to first, and that is that. And the A's are gone in order. They lead it 8 2. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, out of the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Phillies, DH, Bryson Stock. The designated hitter, Bryson Stock. The wind of the pitch. Bounced out to short. Tosses across the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now that the second baseman, G. Segura. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. Good contact guy, good defender. The wind of the pitch. And that one a little bit high. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Soft contact in the air. Andrews makes the play. And a couple of quick outs. The right fielder, number three. Right. And now Harper. here is Harper. And 
And the right-hander back to work. Ball, Off the ball. mark there, and that's ball one. Let's go, Philadelphia. Two outs. Whoa. Just missed. Yeah. Left-hand batter waits. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Check swing. He went, and it's two and two. Next pitch in the dirt. Full count now. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws to first. Inning over. Phillies down in order. And it's still 8-2. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, now, Sam Kunra. And this guy can Number bring it velocity-wise. Sam Kunra. Welcome back. We go to the ninth at the play. Jeremy Ironman. The athletic, the designated hitter, Jeremy Ironman. So why to kick the pitch? And there's a the ball. Boom. He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. Out to center. Jordan moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Now battle. The center fielder. Sky Bull. Sky Bolt up next for the A's. One for three. Here comes a pitch. And a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. That's out to center field. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a now very that, nice approach and swing side. right there to use the Elvis. big part of the field. Andrew. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now it's going to be Elvis Andrews. And he's already singled in this game. First offering misses the mark. Bolt over at first with one away. Next offering is downstairs. Working down to the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. That one in for a strike, two and two. So his plan of attack on the mound worked perfectly right there. Got what he was looking for. Well, he was determined to get that hitter to take a pass at that pitch, knowing that if he got it on the ground, the defense is really good behind him. They could roll it up, get the double play. They did just that. Move to first. No, Bolt back easily. And the right-hander deals. Center field. Jordan under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two away. 
now batting second baseman Tony Kemp. Tony Kemp getting ready to hit. Coonrod back to work. This to third. On to Segura. That's out number three. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the A's eight and the Phillies two. So you know recessions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a So bottom of the ninth. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Brandon Jordan. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become a lead. The next offering misses. And now 2-0. Oh, no. Next offering misses. 3-0. and oh. Here's a 3-0. Hey. That clips the corner. To the right side. Lays out. He's got it. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Great lead off the bat by the second baseman. He took a perfect Three. angle to get to this ball, oh, knowing yeah. that he was going to have to dive to cut it off. Gets up and completes the play from the outfield grass. What a great job of picking up his pitcher. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. That one drilled left field. Banks off the wall. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. The punch out there. Phillies have just one out remaining. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. It was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Nick Maytom stands in for the Phillies. The pitch. There's a strike. Hoskins at second with two down. The 0 one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Just one out away, trying to close it out. Just foul of third. Next pitch misses way outside. Oh. 
runner leads away at second. Out towards center. And that'll do it. The A's take the first two games of this series on the road. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 8-2 the final here, Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. King's fabric, linen and silk from the home of